Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. We're back in round two of the chart. All five of these waters beat another water in round one, and now they're up against each other to see which one is the best, and it's going to move on to round three. So tonight we have two Canadian waters, two aluminum bottles of water, and this big LO thing. And I don't have any notes. Uh, I'm just going to do a taste test and just decide which one I think tastes the best. First up is Icy Blue Ancient Glacial Spring Water. This has a pretty cool bottle. You know, it's meant to have these dents. It's like supposed to look like flowing water or like a glacier or something. And I just had a really salty dinner. I might finish all five of these. I'm pretty thirsty. <laughs> this one's pretty big, but let's let's see. Here we go. All five of these in round one all got thumbs up. Um, they're all pretty good waters. In the past, I've done reviews with like weird flavored waters and sparkling waters and stuff. These are all still waters, and they're not flavored. They don't have calories. Like these are all like these are all good ones. All five of these legitimately have a chance of going to round three. I really don't know which one's gonna win. So here's uh, icy blue. Refreshing, hydrating. That's a good one. It's got the uh, double-sided label. See the picture there, and then info on the back. Nice double-sided. Here's the path water. This is in a cool, reusable bottle. So it, it comes with water in it, then you drink it, and then you, you're able to clean it out and keep using this bottle over and over and over again. I mean, honestly, you can reuse any bottle. Like, they... <laughs> This one, you could just fill it back up and clean it a little bit and use it again. But this one's, like, made to be reused. And it's, you know... It says not to put it in a dishwasher, but it says to hand wash it and you're able to use it over and over again. Plastic lid, aluminum bottle. It's pretty good. Um, maybe like a slight aluminum taste, but not strong at all. Not like, not strong at all. Not even, not even like a one percenter. Yesterday I was working at uh, an election. There was an election yesterday. I was a poll worker and I was drinking one of these and, you know, I was at this election for like 14 hours or something, like all day. I was sitting next to this old guy He's like in his seventies or something. He was looking at this and he's like, he's like, are you drinking bath water? <laughs> he misread the title, the uh, label instead of path water. He thought it was, he thought it was bath water. Uh, no, that's kind of a neat thing about drinking fancy waters in public. Like people actually do notice them. If you just drink like uh, Nestle, nobody cares. I mean, it's just a bottle of water, but it's just something people do notice. I mean, he wouldn't have said anything if we weren't sitting next to each other for 14 hours. You know, we kind of have to think of stuff to talk about. We're sitting there for 14 hours. But, um, yeah, this is the path water. Here's the LO water. This is a high pH, still water, 7.7. .7. Smart water, kind of plastic, like thicker plastic. Yeah, just pretty basic, simple design. I think it's kind of difficult to read parts of this, um, just because there's no, you know, outline on the text. There's no background. It's a tra with a transparent bottle. Sometimes the text blends into the color of the stuff behind it a little bit. Not a big deal. I mean, whatever. But here we go. A little bit of that uh, cough drop flavor to it, not not in a bad way, but we got kind of like a heavier, almost a sweet flavor to this one. And here's the ever and ever water. That was a, that was a loud crack there. Cheers. 
It's a good one. Very similar to this one. Very similar to the Pathwater. Here's the Canadian. <laughs> Here we go. This is from Connor Drinks Water. Thanks again, Connor, for sending me some Canadian waters. That's a good one. <laughs> when I did Connor's review, um, I didn't mention this in the review, but since Connor sent me this bottle and I had his return address on the box, I was actually planning on sending Connor a box of like random stuff, just like shirts and just random stuff from around my room and I had a can of liquid death I was going to send him and a couple other waters I had. I filled up this big box <laughs> full of like all the stuff to send to him. And then I looked at the shipping cost of the stuff he sent me. He spent, I think it was like 40 bucks that he paid for shipping to send me a couple of bottles of water. And I was serious. I, I packaged it all up. And then I went to a website and did like a pricing estimate. And it was going to be like 50 or 60 bucks to ship stuff to Canada. And um, I just never sent it and um, never mentioned it in the other video. Sorry, Connor, but I'm never going to send you that box of stuff. It's still it's still packaged up. It's ready to be sent, but I'm not going to. Anyway, sorry. I don't know why I'm even bringing that up. <laughs> I even made like a video of me filling up the box and stuff. But I'm just, I'm too cheap to uh, spend 50 or 60 bucks just for shipping. Um... Anyway, because the stuff in the box isn't even worth close to that, so why would I spend that much on it? Alright, icy blue. Ah. So yeah, guys, this is the second to last round two video. The water chart's coming to an end. I've been saying this for months now. After this, there's only five more round one videos and then the charts over we're gonna pick a winner at the end i think i've tested like 500 or maybe 400 waters or something like that hundreds of waters and um we're finally gonna pick a winner when i was reviewing the path water a couple days ago i was like questioning what am i gonna do with nine of these you know i'm gonna drink a few of these maybe three of these for the reviews or whatever maybe four of them depends how long how far this makes it in there but um, I ended up giving my roommate Don like three of these, and he's actually I've seen him. He's been using them like every day. Um, he's you know a, a Lyft driver and an Uber driver. He actually you know freezes the puts these in the fridge and chills them and takes them to work with him. So this works really well for him. I would use these. I think this is a really cool idea. Um, but. For John Drinks Water, I want, like, a clear bottle so people can see that I'm actually drinking something and I'm actually drinking water. So that's why I don't use an aluminum, you know, or just any kind of metal bottle. But even this one. Maybe I'll clean this and give this to Dawn. You can have a fourth one. All right. Oh man, this is a lot of water. Maybe I won't be able to finish it all. And okay, this is gonna be tough because I like I've tasted all five. I don't even know what to eliminate first. Like Ah, oh, this is gonna be this is tough. There's no clear winner, there's no clear loser. What, what am I gonna do? What's this? There was like something in there. Was oh, that part of the lid or something? That was in the um, path water. I wonder if that's, you know, when when the lid cracks open. I wonder if that's 
piece of plastic that uh, was on, on the lid. That's that's bad for path water. Hmm. I think I'm gonna eliminate path water because of this thing. I mean, it just gives me a reason to. I thought really highly of path water up until that thing. But yeah, I'm going to eliminate uh, path water. I don't even know. Like, maybe that was something in my mouth from another bottle of water or something. I don't know. But I'm going to eliminate this. Just because it gives me a reason to. Sorry, Connor. Next, I'm going to eliminate the Canadian water. Just going back and forth between these five. Um, just like the taste is like something's off, a little bit off. I, I'm not, I wouldn't say it's off. I wouldn't say it's, there's something off, but just in comparison, I would just say it's not as good as the other three, in my opinion. This is a fine water. It, it's a thumbs up, but... Maybe it's like a plasticky thing or something. But yeah, this is out. I'm so bad at describing stuff. I shouldn't be doing reviews like this. Just saying it's plasticky is such like a lazy way to describe it, but whatever. Alright, I'm going to eliminate this one. Early on, I said this was like a cough drop or cough syrup kind of flavor to it. And um, that's just giving me a reason to eliminate it. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like magnesium or something like that. But I'm just not digging this at the moment. All right. I'm going to say the winner is the Icy Blue Water. Yeah, it's got a cool design, good flavor. It just uh, comes down to the flavor, I guess. It's so close. It's like, what do they call it? Like winning by a hair or something? It's like a tiny bit better. And, you know, maybe if I tasted these a month from now, I would have a different opinion or something. But just in the moment right now, I'm digging this one. So this is moving on to round three. Congratulations, Icy Blue.